Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy with my life as Geek Guy, helping you with your beauty and makeup journey. On this channel, I do a lot of product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice in the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial creating this look that you see me modeling for you right here. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I start out with my Jericho Cosmetics Active Serum, dot that all over my face using it almost as a bit of a primer as well because it does have a lot of smoothing properties. Then I'm going to go in with my Jericho Cosmetics Restoring Day Cream and work that into the face. I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in a really light shade as my eyeshadow base because I want that pink to really stand out. So I'm using an extra light base for my eyeshadows today. And then I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I know that not a lot of people are using this anymore, but I wanted to get my fingers into it again and do a look out of it. So I'm using that almost shimmery, almost white shade as the base because I, again, I want the shadows to really stand out. Then I'm going to go into that tan eyeshadow and just basically blow those two shadows out everywhere. Use that as a transition shade. And I really just want to blow it out, smoke it out, make it look really blown out and diffused. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. That one is Morphe M244, I think. And then I'm going to go into that deeper shade and then just focus that shade on the outer portion of my eye. I'm going to go again into that next darker shade, almost a burgundy one, and building up those colors. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but the key is to build and blend and just keep building and blending. Then I'm going to take a small packing brush and wet it with some setting spray and go into that shimmery pink shade. And I'm going to really load up the brush there. And then I'm going to do almost a cut crease, but not quite a cut crease. As you can see here, the setting spray is really making that shimmery pink shadow pop a whole lot more and I'm just going to carefully build that up in the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to take it up just above my crease so you can still see it when my eyes are open. I'm just testing to see if you can still see it while my eyes are open and I wanted to be able to see it a little bit more so I went in up a little further than my eye crease. it out yep even yep cool let's move on I'm gonna go into that deeper almost goldy pinky shimmery shade and then I'm going to use that on the outer corner of my eye and just use that as a transition shade blending the lighter pink shade into the darker edges of my eye now I'm going to go into that deeper darker almost burgundy sort of shade and work that into the outer crease and just further deepen up that corner now I know this is a purple shade, it's a little weird, but I wanted a little tiny little bit of that purple undertone in the outer parts of my eyes just to really deepen up the color a little further. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take that little pink shade in the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and further deepen up that pink on the outer parts of my eyes. Now I'm cleaning up the fallout and I'm going to go in with my base, starting with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm just going to apply that pretty much everywhere because it's such a nice base. It really provides a smooth base for the foundation. I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild Face Detent Foundation. I know it looks a little bit dark on me, but my face, I don't know why, my face seems to be a little bit lighter than my body. This is actually my shade. It matches with my neck and my decolletage, which is why I'm using it. Now, the foundation was a little bit thick. I wanted to apply a little bit more sheer. So I used some setting spray just to really sheer it out a little bit more. Now I'm going to lighten up that look and go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and just really highlight my face with that. I needed a bit of more spot concealing, so I used more 
closer to my skin shade concealer by Maybelline and just spot concealed where I needed a little bit of extra coverage and then just blended all of that in. Now I know that looks weird, that's my RCMA no color powder in that little bowl because the bottle is ridiculous, it's just so hard to use so I put it in the bowl. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and apply that in my waterline just to make my eyes look bigger and fuller and more open. I know it looks weird but I'm going to finish up under the eyes. I'm taking all these shades, just mixing them all together and then blending that out under my lower lash line. I'm going to take more of that pink shade from the Zulu palette and really blow that out under the eye and sort of diffuse the edges as well. I'm going to redefine my beauty spot and with this I'm using the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner. I'm using that for my eyeliner as well. This eyeliner has actually been discontinued in the shops but you can find it on Amazon. This is the easiest eyeliner for me ever to use. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and just apply a liberal coat of that on my lashes. Now I'm going in with the Morphe Bronzer in Blogger I believe it's called and just warm up the face with that. I wanted to really define my cheekbones, so I'm going a little bit heavy with that bronzer. Now I applied some Morphe lashes. I didn't use any dramatic lashes, I just wanted something a little bit extra extra. Now I'm going in with my BYS Contour Trio palette using that highlighter shade and just applying that under the eyes to further brighten. Now I'm going in with the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner. This is in the shade Pink Rose and I'm just going to line my lips with that. I was blending around my lips because I wanted a more diffuse sort of pink lip, not something too defined. Then I'm going in with my ColourPop Glossy Lip in the shade Aquarius. Now I'm using my Milani Cosmetics Strobe Light Highlighter and just really applying that to the face. I've really been enjoying this highlighter. It's not a really shiny, glittery one. It's just a really nice, beautiful, gentle sheen, and that's what I wanted for this look today. I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel because I don't need any more color in my eyes. I just wanted them to stay in place. Then I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and under the brow bone with that shimmery white shade that I used as a base for my eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to go into the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Collaboration Face Palette, taking those three blushes pretty much and shaking off the excess because they are super pigmented and I'm just blushing up my face with that. I love that highlighter, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. Fix the hair, because it's looking crazy, and that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.